How do you seven or RC4? Which to buy? Hey, I ain't never give it up. Said, I never give up. I got this, man, I got it. I will rock when I'm on it. Never rock it. Got the block when I'm toxic. Spitting logic. Make them nauseous. Honest. Can I stop this? Never cautious. Drop it. I'm the hardest. Knock, knock, bitch. Watch it. I'm the fucking king of rock, bitch. Drop it. Spitting hot shit. I'm dropping. Chronic. I think I'm about to fucking lost it. Make sure to subscribe guys and uh, smash the like button if you like this content because you will support me for free uh, establishing new collaboration which could bring more uh, running gear reviews uh, which means uh, more fun. Say that let's split the video in three different chops, the specs, a comparison of running dynamics and impression and finally the conclusions. Let's start with the specs. The RC4 is 235 grams in the US 10 sides uh, while the Adios 7 is uh, 224 grams so the Adios 7 is uh, a bit lighter. They have the same drop uh, and stack uh, 8, 8 mm, uh, uh, 27 mm in the heel, uh, 19 mm in the forefoot. No continental rubber uh, for the harsh 4, only in the Hydro 7. Uh, both shoes up, uh, are made of uh, uh, at least 50% of uh, uh, recycled materials. Light strike form in the RC4 for the entire midsole, light strike form plus the uh, light strike pro form in the uh, forefoot for the Hydro 7. For the original price, uh, the RC4 is another 10 euros while the audio 7 is another 40 euro. For more details about these shoes you can find in the channel uh, the first impression review I'll leave you the links up here. In regard to the household, the households uh, look pretty similar but in the audio 7 is thicker and um, with a better grip uh, you can even hear that from the sound. The spotted foam, especially the uh, Pro in the forefoot, won't be an issue. Um, it's still in perfect condition in my previous uh, uh, version, and I guess uh, will be the same uh, uh, for the RC4, maybe even better because the light strike foam. In terms of durability, I believe the Adios 7 will last longer because uh, uh, the thicker sole, uh, but the RC4 on the other hand is uh, more comfortable because less thicker and rigid, and it doesn't collect any stones. Let's talk about the midsole now. The midsole is made of a light strike from um, with the light strike pro insert in the forefoot for the uh, Audio 7 and uh, with the light strike form in the entire household for the RC4. Uh, you can notice the difference of action measured uh, in using the durometer here. The light strike pro form is much more uh, bouncier than the light strike uh, uh, form, which is uh, quite firm. Another difference is that uh, the RC4 has uh, a, a wider midsole uh, than the Audio 7 in the forefoot and in the heel as well, uh, while the Audio 7 is uh, quite narrow shoe. The upper is completely different. Uh, we have uh, a super light wave uh, breathable mesh upper in the Audio 7. Uh, you can even see through it uh, uh, with still overlay materials like in the Hades uh, uh, shoes, uh, which I don't like aesthetically speaking. Uh, the RC4 upper is less breathable, but the overlay material is much better in terms of design, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, I like more in terms of aesthetic and colorways, uh, and uh, it could last longer than in the Audio 7. In the Audio 7, we have a double. Uh, line of rings as I also uh, mentioned in the other um, review videos uh, for the thinner fit in the lockdown system which is missing in the RC4 but the Audio 7 has a thinner counter less comfortable than the RC4 uh, which locked the heel in place uh, better than the Audio 7. For that reason uh, uh, the RC4 is easier to wear uh, than the Audio 7 uh, in this regard, the Audio 6 was much better than the Audio 7. The tongue in the Audio 7 is lighter without uh, basically any padding, uh, uh, but uh, it's working fine. Uh, in the RC4 we have uh, a lot of padding, uh, even too much, um, which makes the shoe difficult to fasten and the laces too short. Uh, it's even a bit too high in my opinion. Uh, both shoes are good to size. Talking about the running dynamics, uh, uh, have as usual uh, the results collected out of uh, these five tests, uh, uh, different running paces for uh, two running dynamics uh, which measure basically the response and the efficiency of the shoe. 
and we can see that in average uh, for all the tests we have uh, a pretty similar response and uh, efficiency looking also at uh, the heart rate uh, uh, of course uh, if you are interested in more details uh, i'll leave here uh, the chart but basically the shoes have a pretty similar uh, running dynamics so response and uh, efficiency in this case so in conclusion which to buy should i buy the audio 7 or should i buy the rc4 if I would look for a resin shoe, no doubt, go for the uh, Audio 7 because it's lighter, um, much more breathable, with a narrow sole, midsole, so more agile. And the Light Strike Pro in the forefoot, it's a bit um, bouncier, more bouncier than the Light Strike uh, foam, which is pretty firm. If I would look for a training shoe, then the RC4 is more comfortable. Uh, it has a more comfortable counter tongue uh, it is more stable uh, for the wider midsole and it's easier to wear and uh, to be honest i haven't felt such a big difference uh, due to the last strike pro insert in the forefoot uh, in the audio 7 just a little bit more bounce here uh, as it was confirmed from the running dynamics collected the difference of price is not that important uh, so if you don't look for a uh, um, bit more stability and comfort for a daily trainer then you could even go for the audio 7 because i believe it's a quite uh, uh, versatile shoe otherwise i would go for the rc4 both shoes have a, a great uh, ground feel uh, but despite they are pretty similar uh, shoes uh, when i run with the rc4 i feel to wear a, a bigger shoe uh, than the audio 7 kind of more stable than uh, the audio 7 probably due to the midsole dimensions uh, and this could make your run, uh, especially the slow runs, uh, uh, a bit more comfortable uh, than the, uh, with the Audio 7, uh, something I would consider. So guys, I hope this was interesting and that's why I'm doing this video actually. So just let me know, leaving a like. And if you are not yet subscribed, it's so important for me and for the channel. And uh, it doesn't cost anything to you, just uh, one click. As always, as always, thanks for watching and till the next time. Keep running.